this tutorial, we will discuss two topics related to having multiple clips. You can see how to do the basics and resolve in the previous two tutorials. In the first section, we will see how to apply presets to multiple clips. This is a handy feature and very easy to do. Let's see how you can quickly add multiple effects to all of your selected clips in the edit at the same time. We start in the edit page, and here you see that I have three clips in my edit. We can select the first clip and go to the color page. Now we will go to the library and revision effects and choose which effects we'd like to add. For the sake of the demo, we'll add denoise and real smart motion blur. We can go ahead and adjust the controls within each plugin, and there are other tutorials on our website that you can watch for specific usage of each plugin that works the same for all the applications we support. Now that we have our plugin set up the way we want, and we want to apply the same plugins with the same settings to the rest of the clips, we will now select the clips that we want to apply those effects to. You can shift select to see multiple clips and then middle click on the clip with the effects already on it. If you're using a mouse that doesn't have a middle button, then control click or hold the left right buttons at the same time and it should do the same thing. When you middle clicked on the clip with the effects on it, it should have applied those same effects to the remaining selected clips. It's so easy to do and what a time saver. Now we can see how to handle two inputs in Resolve as is in the case of using Rematch where we need a source and a reference or target for color. Since we cannot have two inputs in the edit page, you will see an error message if you try to add one of the Rematch plugins in edit. So for example, if we add color plus to our source clip, you see we get this message that it cannot be applied in the edit page but to use it in Fusion and Color Pages. We can select the clip and go to the color page and see how it works. We add the Rematch Color Plus plugin to the line after the input clip and then go to the media pool to add our second clip. We can add the one with the blue sky as our reference clip. Now we just attach the second input to the green arrow and we go to the settings. These default settings work for this particular clip. We can toggle the display to reference and twirl open the reference masking controls. We change the shape to four points and reset. Now we can adjust the four points to fit the sky area. And we can do the same on the source mask control. We can change the shape to four points and adjust the points around the source sky. Now we can match the source sky to the reference and toggle the display to see the source and the result. You can see that we also have other options. The idea is if you had two cameras with two different field of views, then you could use the shapes to define an area that both cameras see in order to have a better color match. Notice in color page there is no option for map for shapes. There is in the fusion page though. Also, the color page has an issue with non-full alpha images, so you should use the Fusion page in this case. Now we can see another example, and we go back to the edit page, and this time we'll start with some stereo footage. We want to match the left and right views of this train scene. I tweaked the hue on the source to make the tutorial more obvious. We will select the source clip, which is the one we want to change, and go to the Fusion page. We can now go to the media pool and add our reference clip. This is the clip we want to match for color. We will go to the effects library, open effects, revision effects, and add rematch stereo. We add the media and two node, which is our reference clip, to the green arrow, and we can activate the display right on the node. Now on the media in two node, we can activate the left display. This will put the color reference on the left display and the result on the right display. Over in the inspector, we select result for the display mode. We can choose the gain plus offset for the global mode. And for the local mode, we can select more detailed, refined, mismatched areas. If we set local mode function to display the mismatch map to the red channel, 
We can see that the entire frame is red at the moment until we increase the mismatch threshold until the landscape and train match apart from the sky and the extra image area. Now we can switch the local mode function back to normal and see that the images match. Again, there is another feature in Rematch to handle special stereo problems. Like here, there is a flare in one eye only. We will need to do this in the Fusion page. In some cases, like this stereo shot, you can see in this before and after of the surfing scene that there was a lens flare on one of the views. We use the masking controls to isolate that flare. We go to the Effects, Library, Open Effects, Revision Effects, and drag the Rematch Stereo plugin to the line after the Media in OneNote. Now we can attach the Media in TwoNote to the green arrow. We can hover over the bottom left corner of the Rematch Stereo node, which will be the result, and activate the right display button. On the Media in 2 node, where our reference is, we can hover over the bottom left corner and activate the left display button. Now we need to create a garbage mask to use as an exclusion mat to get rid of that lens flare. We just select the polygon tool and draw a shape around the flare and we connect the garbage mat to the exclusion mat input on the node which is purple. Now we can go to the inspector for rematch stereo. We can leave the display on result, select the mean shift option for global mode. We can change the local mode to more detailed refined mismatch areas since it works best for this shot and will allow us to enable the exclusion mat. We check the box next to the exclusion mat and voila, the lens flare is gone. Note that we can animate the exclusion mat on and off so that it's only on where we need to use it and off for the rest of the clip. Another useful thing to mention is if you have several clips and want to apply the same effect to, like in this case. We have six similar shots so we can select the first one and go to the fusion page and we drag a clip from the media pool that we want to use as a reference color. We can apply Rematch Color Basic and connect the Media in 2 node to the green arrow. We can activate the display for the Media in 1 on the left display and the result on the right display so we can see the difference. And now we can select Store to Analyze. We go to the Rematch Color Basic node and right mouse click select Copy and then clip by clip we can paste effect by returning to the edit page, selecting a new clip, and make sure that the timeline is showing our clip in the display. We go back to the fusion page now, right mouse click on the line and select paste. Look at that, now we have the same effect. We could continue to go through the same process until they've all got the same effect. Okay, back to more editing problems. Often when you edit shots, you end up with cuts that are totally different levels. So we have this clip with two different color looks. You can then use Rematch Color Plus directly without a second source. We attach the Media N1 node to the first input and also the second input. We can set the match mode to keyframe and put one keyframe before the end of the sequence at frame 75. And then we add another keyframe after the start of the second sequence at frame 125. And that will dissolve the colors across the cut so it's not an abrupt change. Now you've seen several examples of how to use rematch color in Resolve.